it says, with whom my hand shall be established, mine arm also shall strengthen him. And you're going to see this play out more and more as the return of our Lord Yahweh shall draw now. That powerful arm of the Heavenly Father, his deliverer, his savior, Yahweh Shai, is going to preserve his elect from the said perils. See? Verse 22, it says, The enemy shall not exact upon him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And who is this son of wickedness? Who is this enemy here? None other than Esau, the so-called white man. So the Lord has promised protection. You know, concerning the days to come, the time of Jacob's trouble, in which the so-called white man is set to rise up in wrath against his brother Jacob. See that? Verse 23, and this is the point. It says, and I will beat down, <laughs> and I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them, see, and plague them that hate him. Let's read this again. It says, and I will beat down... <laughs> I will beat down or smite or wound, see, his foes before his face and plague them, see, and plague them that hate him. So you see where the word plague is in the same breath with beat, <laughs> which we looked up that word plague in the Greek and the definition there was to wound or smite. See that? So when the scripture speaks about these plagues in which Yahweh Shemesh has prepared to send forth as a scourge, you know, well, it's pretty much the Lord wounding Esau, smiting this man, before ultimately, violently overthrowing the so-called white man in the form of World War Three, which would be an effort to take down America, Babylon the Great. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that, Lord willing. It was there to find. Till the next time I say, Shalom.